Let's get fancy and let's talk about Le Creuset. Now this is a brand that is known for cast iron, big names in the world of chefing. Use Le Creuset, championed Le Creuset from the beginning of their careers, and Le Creuset has been around since 1925. This is called the Le Creuset cast iron two quart saucepan with a phenolic handle. We're gonna talk about what all that means, but this cast iron works on all stovetops, and their cast iron is like no one else's. It stands the test of time. As a matter of fact, you get the two quart saucepan with the lid, but I wanna bring you over to these colors briefly, if I may, because my grandmother, uh, my mom's mom, went to the Cordon Bleu School of Cooking. She was able to buy herself one Le Creuset pot, just one. She babied it, she loved it, she used it all the time. This is her pot right here. It's 70 years old. This pot in this picture is 70 years old. Do you think it looks familiar? Look how beautifully it has held up. We've used it, my grandmother used it, my mom used it, I use it. Then slide on over to the one here on set because this cerise looks just like the one that my grandmother had. If you want the cerise, 450 left. It will stand the test of time. Here is the Marseille. 450 also stand the test of time. Here's cool mint. Fewer than 300. Here's the beautiful, I think this is, no, this is oyster here. This is meringue. Thank you. 50 left in the meringue. And then here's oyster side by side. 430 left there. Um, this is an incredible story, but I have another incredible story to share with you. The sale price, reduced shipping, and five easy payments all gone at the end of the day. So there is a reason for the shape of the pot. We're gonna talk all about it, but it is $72.97 less with that sale price and reduced shipping. But please don't miss out because it is gone, gone at the end of the day. And Greg Shockley is here to talk to us all about it. And Greg, I'm so excited that we get to finally talk about the pot today. It's good to see you. Happy Labor Day weekend. Happy Labor Day weekend to you too, Mary. And I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing right now than sharing <laughs> my experience with Lake Rose to everybody out there. And you know, you pointed it out, you have such great history with this since your grandmother. I've, that's, by the way, that's the first time, I know I've been jealous of it, but that's the first time I've actually seen even a picture of your grandmother's pop. But you know, going back to the history of 1925, mm -hmm. things really haven't changed that much. They're still made in the same boundary, almost a hundred years. You don't see that anymore. I mean, that just doesn't happen. Um, it's, you know, each pan is individually made. I mean, think about that. Black sand molds are destroyed as soon as the pan is made and then they can start all over again. But it's known for the heat retention and distribution that you get with cast iron. And Mary, what do you have right there? Is that caramel? Yes, it is. I'm gonna put okay. it over the popcorn, but Greg, as a matter of fact, I've got some updates for everybody because I think it's moving pretty quickly. So I'm gonna start with the cerise, that beautiful cherry red. I have 375 left. Here's the Marseille. 400 left. Here's the cool mint. 275 left in the meringue. Oh, meringue is gone, gone. Okay. And then we have oyster. Fewer than 400 left. Of course it comes in this beautiful box up here on the shelf behind. Um, that's their signature orange box. But Greg, please continue. I'm sorry to interrupt what you were saying um, because it's no. just, it's flying quickly. Not at all, not at all. And you know, the caramel is a great thing to have in there to demonstrate this because the reason the sauce pot is so special too is the fact that bottom it has rounded edges. So when you're making your sauces, right. your stews, your tomato sauce, like I'm making right here, I'm making a quick bolognese. So I've got my ground beef, which by the way, the sand enamel interior right here really promotes caramelization of your beef, of your vegetables, everything to really bring out the flavors of what you want. So I've got my bolognese. But the reason that they, the uh, rounded edges are so important is that normal sauce pots go straight down and they meet the bottom and there's that little line around the whole corner right there which is where all your food gets stuck and that's why you get burning but now mm. you can use any of your utensils maybe the silicone i find really best because it kind of hugs the bottom of that so when i cook this up this is only going to cook for maybe like 15 minutes because i'm just doing a quick version of a marinara with uh, some some ground beef in there put a little bit of basil i like mine spicy so i'm going to add a little nice. bit of chili peppers and then i'm done but remember that heat retention that you get in here i can just lid this and put it on my table and I'm good to go for probably 35, 40 minutes. It's gonna keep this hot and that's what we wanna do, Mary. Then, the one thing I've got right here, a lot of times when you're doing chocolates, you're gonna need to do a double boiler, right? Cause you don't wanna burn. Absolutely. Now, I found on very low heat, 
I can do this super safely. I'm melting my chocolate. I made fondue, which is simply Ooh. all I did. I, you can add a little liqueur if you want, but I just kept that out. I, added, I melted down some good chocolate chips. As soon as it's melted, I added heavy cream to it, and I have the most delicious, beautiful fondue. I've even got the little skewers over here, but look. I've got a little helper right here on my strawberry. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. I've already got a stick right there. But you're going to find it so easy to do. The lid, by the way, too. I want to talk about that, Mary, because a couple things that make it really special. Now, we've got, just like you might find on a lot of our Dutch ovens, we've got that raised lip right here. So it's going to fit right on top of the pot just perfectly. But we want to keep everything in. But with a sauce pot, the only little difference that you have in the sauce pot is you might notice there's a little vent hole right on the top right here. Because when you're making a sauce, you do want to reduce it to some extent to intensify the flavor of the of you know this chicken stock or the beef stock or the soup that you're making. So this allows a lot of that air to come out so that the so the volume of whatever you're making can go down. Got you, got you, got you. I'm mashing up the potatoes and while I do, I might take a little break and head on over go and show it. you the color choices. Because remember, that sale price on your screen, the reduced shipping and those five easy payments are gone at the end of the day. This is Le Creuset cast iron. It is going to last the test of time. And while I'm over here at the colors, just in case you tuned in, I want to show you the picture again because the cerise, popular in the show, but also the exact same pot that my grandmother owned. This pot in the picture that I'm holding is 70 years old. You want to talk about the longevity of Le Creuset? Yeah, we're good there. It's definitely going to be a... a an appliance or a tool in your kitchen that you can pass down through your family. So here is the cerise. Sure. We have 150 left. Here's Marseille. 300 left. Here's cool mint. 200 left. And then we have the oyster. 250 remain. More than 800 have been picked up in this show. We are approaching half gone of our remaining quantity. I love the curvature at the bottom of this saucepan because, quite frankly, it just glides your tool around inside the pot. And so when you are mashing your potatoes, there's nothing sticking to the side. There's nothing billowing out of the top. And with the lid, now I can do top-down cooking and cooking from the bottom as well. But quite frankly, Greg, for $159 to get a two quart cast iron Le Creuset sauce pot home, I'm going to use it for practically everything. <laughs> I'm going to use it for everything. And you right? know, you'll be surprised how often, I mean, I know you're an empty nester, we're empty nesters. So, yeah, for us, especially since we're not cooking big batches of food, it's really awesome for us. But, yeah. Mary, you know, for every day, you know, when you're making soups, you're making stews, making caramel apples like you're going to be probably doing soon for Halloween. It's absolutely amazing. Now, Mary, I actually, you might not think of this as baking sometimes, but like our Dutch ovens, it's the exact same thing. This is sort of a miniature version of our Dutch oven. But I made some mac and cheese right in the oven. And I want to point out, since you just did too, look at that release right from that sand enamel. You can just see it's super clean. I hate to clean, which is probably why I learned how to cook in the first place. But I definitely <laughs> don't need to put a lot of effort in cleaning this. And, you know, Mary, when you're, because of the size of this, Every day, I love to, I mean, I love to eat um, oatmeal. It's a perfect oatmeal cooker. Oh, yeah, you know, yes. great for grain. If you make rice a lot or ancient grains, it is absolutely perfect. Nothing cooks better than cast iron for that. Because if you think about the instructions, a lot of times, bring your water to a boil, add your grains or your rice in, put your lid on, and then you turn the heat either on simmer or off. I just turn mine off. Because it's so insulated because so of that fluffy. cast iron property. I don't even need to keep it on simmer. And that's probably what they did, Mary. I, yeah. Same thing they probably did in the studio right there. Yeah. It keeps the grains all separate. Ooh. They're not sticky together. And that's the results that you want. That's the professional results that you get. That's yeah. why professional chefs for nearly 100 years have been using cast iron and have been using and swearing by liquor stack. We are well over half gone. Um, we started the show with 1,800. If you want the Cerise, there are four dozen remaining. If you want the Marseille, there are 240 left. If you want the Cool Mint, there are 160 left. If you want the oyster, there are 150 left. The price, the reduced shipping, and the five easy payments are gone at the end of the day. So if you are thinking of picking up maybe a new La Creuset pot for someone for the holidays, today's the day to get it because it comes in that beautiful orange box. You're done. You can tuck it away. But Greg, talk to us again about the phenolic handle because I'm just picking these sure. up right off the stove and my paws are fine. 
this is a, that was a great segue, Mary, because I'm about to sauce. <laughs> I've got a, I've got my uh, pasta sauce already done right here, which only took like 15 minutes. Remember, like I said you could stew this all day long if you wanted to, but you know we just kind of go through a quick marinara. Now the phonetic handle. Let me get a side view right here. It's a little longer than typical handles, even our cast iron ones. But what this allows you to do, it stays cool. So if you're doing, you could cook this for an hour or two hours and the phonetic handle is gonna stay nice and cool. You'll be able to pick it up the entire time. And even in the oven, so it'll go up to 385 degrees in the oven. It will heat up in the oven, but you can still go in, it's still oven safe. So don't worry about it. And Merritt, why don't I go ahead and just show this. All I did was brown off my ground beef, added a little bit of garlic to it, a little bit of seasoning. I just cooked that up, added my chopped tomatoes, some basil, and I've got a super easy marinara that absolutely cooked awesome. You can keep the lid on here and just put it right on the table. It's great to go to stove to table, you know, if you want to just have it on there and people yeah. can just resauce all of their food. Yeah. Totally, By the way, totally Greg, the cerise is gone. Um, I'm going to hand this one off. Uh, well okay. over half of our quantity is gone. We started with 1,800. If you want the hello, if you would like the Marseille, <laughs> there are 180 left. If you want the cool mint, there are 120 left. If you want the oyster, there are six dozen left. Greg Shockley, thank you so, so all much right. for joining us on this busy holiday weekend. And uh, we'll all get in the bus and drive over and eat with you when it's done. <laughs> okay, so good. Well, I'm in Utah, Mary. That might be a long drive. Okay, okay well, I'm not driving. Um, you know, I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye for now. Bye, Mary. Hey, don't Thanks, miss everyone. out on our Luck Crusade offer in the show. But right now, it's time to talk about Squirrel Brand. You know, this is a brand that is.